Hello there, what is up? Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. My name is Trix, and on this channel we share one little spark of life in each and every video. Mainly, we hang out together, we unbox subscription boxes, we do all things Disney, we review products together, and we do hauls. And today I have a different sort of video because I have never done one of these before. I am going to open an advent calendar, a Disney advent calendar to be specific. If you are new to the advent calendar world, it's the sort of thing I think it first started out as with chocolates that you get like a little like chocolate a day in December, you break it open, you eat it, or you know, you eat it all in one go, no judgment. But from there, it kind of exploded. And now it's like everything and anything has advent calendars. And I was actually looking forward to this year getting some advent calendars and unboxing them on my channels. But whenever I went to actually like add to cart, like Ooh, that was expensive this year. I'm not exactly sure why advent calendars went up so drastically in price. Most of these products, specifically the beauty related products, they're products that like you would get with your points at Sephora. Like not worth, like when I say like expensive, like two, three hundred dollars. That, that is not worth it. I mean, it's not worth it to me. It may be worth it to you. Uh, if you do like seeing advent calendars unboxed, like you like today's video and it's not just because it's a Disney advent calendar and you like going like, wow, that's expensive. I will link down below one of my all time favorite YouTubers. She does during December advent calendar unboxings. She's fine. She is funny. She is kind, but she also doesn't say, OMG, this is great. Even if it's not. Okay, let's get back on track to today's video, which I'm sure you saw in the thumbnail. We're going to be unboxing a Disney princess sock advent calendar. I thought, hey, I like Disney. I could use socks. Let's unbox this. Let's first look, and I know that my ring light's picking up and I do apologize, but this, I just think that this is such a beautiful packaging. We have the seven dwarves here, uh, Aurelia Mermaid, <laughs> Ariel. We have here the animation sketch of the mice from Cinderella. So we're getting 15 socks um, in this. We have Beauty and the Beast here, hashtag forever late. Cinderella, hashtag it's me. Uh, <laughs> hashtag original princess. And when you open this up, oh, look in the back. It even goes to the back. So the back has hashtag adventure and that is Aladdin and Jasmine. So this one, it does not say exactly what is on the back. I know that some do, uh, but it, what it does say is that there are 10 pairs of no-show socks and five pairs of crew socks. Oh, it continues. So when you open it up, this is what you see here. And then we have the actual days. So let's open her up. Let's see. So day one, I wonder if the socks are going to be themed to what, what the actual picture is. Let's see. Day one has a picture of Moana. Sorry, Moana. I didn't mean to bust into you. I feel so bad. Like this is so pretty and I'm ripping it up. This is how like, you know, like I'm a true Disney fanatic is that like, I feel bad about ripping paper, cardboard. Okay. So let's see. Oh, it is Moana socks. All right. So these are adult socks, by the way. They did have this in the kids version. I got mine at Target. I'll link it down below if they sell them on Target.com. So here we have, these are no-show socks. <laughs> They're gray with Moana. And, oh, her, her pig companion, I can't remember what it's called. Let me know in the comments down below what her companion's name is. Okay, and I gotta say, like, these feel like, like sturdy quality socks. I was kind of concerned that they would be like super, super cheap. Day two, oh, we have Cinderella. Took her head completely off. Struggle was real with that one. All right. These two socks are not Cinderella themed. Ooh, let's see what princess it is. It's Jasmine! So we have some other crew socks. These are blue and yellow and white on one end and then a Jasmine looking all nice and smug. Day three has the dwarves and it says believe in magic. Okay, so our first pair of crew socks and a, 
They are nice and glittery or nice and shimmery. They really don't have any glitter. These feature Ariel. If Run Disney races were in person this year and not virtual, I would totally wear these to a race with some running shorts. So Ariel is here and on the top, like where it would go over your shin, it says, part of your world. These are really cute. We have day four here, once upon a time. Oh, it's my girl Snow White. I love Snow White so, so much. So we have her colors here. Oh, that's such a good use of colors on a sock, right? And then Snow White is on the foot. Day five, we have Sleeping Beauty, Princess Aurora, and Prince Philip. Which, while I'm opening this up, like, I don't actually consider, I know that Sleeping Beauty is a princess, or Aurora is a princess, I know there's Sleeping Beauty Castle, but I don't really consider Sleeping Beauty a princessy film, because she's asleep most of the film, and Prince Philip does most of the action. So these are, these are some no-show socks. It's a shame they're no-show socks because they're so cute. They are Cinderella themed at the very top. It does say Cinderella. We have some beautiful flowers. And then we have our glass slipper right here. Day six is Ariel. All right, I'm just, I'm no longer trying to pop through. I am just ripping the boxes off. We have another no-show. And this one also has the princess's colors in stripes love how they do that and this is princess aurora day seven is jasmine i'm so surprised at the beauty of these things these day seven's socks are mulan socks i love when disney uses the uh the colors associated with the princess in unconventional ways like these stripes but you can totally still tell like if you're a fan of that princess you can tell which princess it is mulan with a rose i actually wish if I'm gonna nitpick the, a pair of socks. Um, I wish that she would have been like Mulan with a lotus flower. Cause is that what they are on the tray? I think it's the lotus. Cause you know, it's the big thing about like the blossom that blooms in adversity. And I don't think it's a rose, but still cute socks. Day eight has Princess Tangled, <laughs> has Rapunzel and Pascal. So when I used to work in Fantasyland, that like laugh was just like for me. When I used to work in Fantasyland, so many people would call, like children and adults, call some of the princesses, not by their actual name, but by their movie. So I heard a lot of times Rapunzel as Princess Tangled, and a lot of times Merida was Princess Brave. So that's that's actually still how I refer to the princesses, but I do know their names. So these are Rapunzel socks. They have the same sparkly pink as um, the Ariel socks did. The outside's a little rough, but it does not carry over to the inside, which is nice. And here we have Rapunzel looking like she's looking like she's waiting for her life to begin. Day number nine is where we are. It says, believe in your dreams. A very Disney thing to say. Oh, I love this. So this is one of my favorite sayings and it is Cinderella on this crew sock. So we have here, like always, the princesses are on the foot. There, she's looking at her glass slipper and on the top, all the way around, it says, have courage and be kind. Day 10, a Snow White, the prince, and some dwarves. And it's a Snow White sock. This one does not have the actual princess on it, but it has items that you can totally link to her. So at the top, it says Snow White on it, and we have some apples and some flowers. Uh-oh, they kind of got jostled. Uh, day 11 is Belle, and let me see. I would assume this is going to be the Belle sock. Nope, I lied to you, it's a Rapunzel sock. Ah, I see. So it is a no-show sock on a gray background, has Rapunzel on the top, and we have her lanterns here. Day 12 has a picture of Aurora, and it is an Aurora sock. All of the things associated with her. So it says Sleeping Beauty all the way around. I like this punch of yellow. Um, it has her crown as well. Okay, so we have three more days. Day 13 has Cinderella's glass slippers on the box. And day 13 socks are Ariel. Oh, how cute are these shells? So her name is printed. And we have some a tropical vibed seashells right there. Day 14 was ripped, but it says a beauty is within. Oh, and perfect, perfectly themed sock for that saying, 
Beauty with, is within is the theme of, or one of the themes of Beauty and the Beast. So we have Belle here holding to me the correct flower. It is um, Village Belle. I was about to call her Peasant, Ve Peasant Belle. Villager Belle, which I actually like this outfit a lot more than I like her princess, like Buffon dress. Uh, but yes, her holding a rose. And then we finally have come to the end, day 15. We're gonna bust right through that box. It is Rapunzel and Flynn Rider and it says, live your dream. Oh, and day 15, perfect for the end. It is a long crew sock and it's the silhouette of all of the princesses with all of their dominant colors striped. This is really cool. I think this is actually my favorite pair. Ah, love it, absolutely absolutely loved this adjuvant calendar. Brought a little cheer to my day. Gotta tell you. Anyway, drop in the comments down below who is your favorite Disney princess and why. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. Please consider hitting that subscribe button on the way out. It would help me out tremendously on my goal to reaching 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. We're getting so, so close to that and Every subscriber really, really does help and is really appreciated. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.